Bowles. Outside of his left boot, trying to get Thomas away. And Thomas winning it well. Beating Madrid now. There's a cross going in towards Gibbons. Lovely cross there by Thomas. And Gibbons just beaten to it by some superb and desperate defence at the same time by Stuart Bowe. Now it's with Don Masson. Bowles number 10. For Ian Gillard. Still with Gillard. A shot and a good save by Flash. Well, Gillard wriggled his way through there nicely. And let go quite a good powerful shot. Good flat save well. Biggest shout at half time, I think, of the whole game, probably. Was when it was announced over the loudspeaker that Manchester United were 1 0 down at Ipswich and that Derby were losing at Manchester City. And here's Gibbons. That's a good save. Beautiful save there from Jim Platt as Gibbons let that go. Brian in first. Really only Boersma and Armstrong playing it forward. <laughs> Gibbons, beautifully time leap there, beating Bowles. Bowles now to Thomas. This must be it. No, it's not because it was beautifully played away by John Hickson, number two. The fullback who came, well, he's known as a striker at Middlesbrough. He began his career as a fullback, though, at Sheffield Wednesday. And when it seemed that Thomas was really there on the point of scoring, he saved superbly for Middlesbrough. Mills and Webb. A foul by Webb on Borsma. Just outside that area. So can Middlesbrough do something here? With about eight minutes of the second half gone. Stan Bowles has been behind the kickers, organizing that Rangers wall. Sanis with a shot right through there. And it's there by Bosma. Tremendous free kick through the wall. Parks went down, couldn't hold it. Saw it at the very last moment. And Boersma was there to snap it up. And score his first goal for Middlesbrough. Queen's Park Rangers nil, Middlesbrough one. And Phil Boersma has shaken everybody at Loftus Road. Clement. Francis, Clement again, down he goes, penalty! Middlesbrough don't like it, but you can be sure Jack Taylor won't be moved, as Clement went flying there. The referee had no hesitation in pointing to the spot. And so it is that Rangers now have a golden chance to get a golden equaliser. Stuart Bone can't believe that it's been given, but it has. Stan Bowles is normally the man who takes them, but he's not going to take them. Jerry Francis is the fellow who has got the responsibility. So, a skipper's responsibility for Jerry Francis against Jim Platt. And he's got it. 1-1. Francis pops out his cheeks because he knows that wasn't the best penalty he'll ever take and in fact it went under Jim Platt's body as Jerry Francis took it Platt dived to his left but it went under his body into the back of the net Rangers 
one, Middlesbrough one. these Masson well what about that for a pass again straight to Jerry Francis Rangers throw Bowles but Armstrong can bring it away for Middlesbrough not far though well he might People like Hollins and Gillard and Clement who've got to come forward, otherwise they're always going to be outnumbered. But here's Givens. Yes! Masson now with the corner for QPR. Leave Sexton there. A little more relief now. But he won't be happy until there's another one in. It's a deep one this time towards David Webb. It'll come to Jerry Francis. A touch here for Stan Bowles. Looking for just the yard and looking for just the angle. And Cooper is really at him like a terrier all the time. Here's Francis. still remarkably in play David Mills, a backward header and Armstrong is there, trying to tuck it back for Sarnas, but it went astray. McAndrew. Done very well there, but uh, McClintock blocking it. Oh, and McClintock's half lost it as well. Here's Mills again. They're not out of the wood yet, but Hollins got him out of it beautifully. Nice bit of control there by Bowles, but he's given it away as well to Sarnas. Now Gillard. for Gillard. Oh, a nice dummy there by Gibbons. On for Bowles. Bowles has gone through to the middle as well. And he almost got there. And he might still get there. Francis can bring it in. That's number three. Superb. It looked as though Bowles might have a chance, and then it looked as though he lost it. Flack managed to block it, but it only came to Jerry Francis, and he whacked it into the back of the net. 3-1. And Jerry Francis' second goal. And now Bowles. Look at that ball played there for Thomas 
Here's a great chance now for Thomas. Oh, and a marvellous save. But Thomas is still there with a chance. But nobody up to support him, so he has to go on his own. And Pat saves the second time. Marvellous run there by Dave Thomas. And a really excellent save in the first place from Jim Platt. And with five minutes to go, Chairman Jim Gregory has left his seat in the director's box. As he usually does, he can't bear to watch anymore, even though Rangers are these two, two goals up. Masson. Bowles. Still Bowles. Will this be the fourth? Yes! Stanley Bowles! They're running riot now, Rangers. Just inside the post. Peace Park Rangers four minutes for a while. And Webb, who to my mind has probably been Rangers' best player on this afternoon. Webb absolutely magnificent. Again, doing a good defender's job there. But Armstrong dinking that one in. Oh, and it's there by Brian. Well, that stuns everybody. And in fact, I think half the crowd didn't even realise it was a goal. But as it came in there, there was just a moment of hesitation. And Brian whacked it into the roof of the net to score a 